With this update to Pro Tools First, Pro Tools has gotten a lot more useful. And for the free version Pro Tools First, you used to only be able to have three sessions and they had to be stored in the cloud. So that was kind of difficult because if you wanted to work with anything more, well, you limited it at three. You could take those if you wanted and open them up the full version of Pro Tools and then save them. But it still meant that once you got to three, you're going to have to find some other solution or just delete them. Now with the May 19 update, you can have as many sessions as you want saved on your computer locally. It's not quite what you think because it only saves them in this weird file format that they have where you can't really move them or change them. It's just stored in your recent files. But they are stored on your disk and you can have as many as you want. If you do want to move them around and do things with them, share them with people, you can still have the same three cloud files that you can um, share with people. So you can just click on whatever ones you want and enable them and then you can work with them. So that's really nice. It's the biggest deal, I think, the biggest change in Pro Tools first. It has some better fluidity in the playback as well, meaning you can just add things and subtract things to the tracks as you're playing it and it won't have clips and hiccups and that type of stuff. And also really important, uh, support for Mac OS Mojave. So if you bought a recent Mac, um, things weren't working exactly the way you wanted because it really wasn't supported. Now it's supported on the latest operating system. So when you open up Pro Tools, looks kind of like normal here. I can create a new file and new session here. If I look over here where it says open, it's going to list all the different files I have. And if I click right here, it's going to give me these options. Back up to cloud, remove um, local cache, rename, this type of stuff. Go back to create and create a session. So a kind of weird thing is if you open up the Pro Tools first, it doesn't really support other software instruments or has a limited amount of them. You go to instrument and it shows some of these things that I have, but not really useful ones. This is just another DAW that you can rewire to it. Of course, the expand to, which it came with before. See if it allows other things here. No, the rest of these are just the limited amount of effects um, here that they give you with um, Pro Tools first. If I were to have gone to um, the full Pro Tools, I'd see a much bigger list of software instruments and effects that I can use. Now I can just hit file save like I would a typical Pro Tools session. I can start collaborations. So this way, if there are people um, that I know um, in this Pro Tools environment, I can talk with them, I can send tracks to them, that type of stuff, it's pretty cool. And there's collaboration um, tools here for sending tracks. When we finish with things, if we hit this little button, it'll upload everything to the cloud. You're gonna wanna do that if you're gonna wanna share them with people. Again, you have the three cloud sessions that you can save. And so uh, once you finish those three, you'll have to temporarily disable those ones if you wanna um, share other ones with the cloud. When you upload things, you're gonna see this little button task manager it's gonna tell you like when things are in progress I'm gonna have to upload my changes hit this here and look it says it's posting this track so it's putting it up in the cloud and saving the changes that have been made once that's all done you can go ahead and quit the program then if you want to open it up on another um, Pro Tools system you can totally do that so when you open up the full version of Pro Tools you're gonna to see this create recent and projects and recent it's gonna show all local projects and in projects over here it says you must be signed in to access projects in the cloud it really should say cloud projects or online projects or something but it doesn't so there it is I'm gonna sign in the stupid little window takes a while to load up sometimes so you put in your information and then type in your password Then on any version of the full Pro Tools, you'll be able to see cloud sessions that you had created and saved in Pro Tools first. So now if I open up this, double click on it, it's gonna download it from the internet and open it up into Pro Tools. So now if I look and see what my instruments are, of course in here, I'm gonna see a bunch of instruments that we didn't have before. So now if I want, I can take this whole thing and I can save a copy of it or save a new version or whatever and I can take this out of the Pro Tools first sort of locked environment and and bring it back into the full Pro Tools version.
go to projects here too. You can click this right triangle now and I can rename a project too. So if you're looking for where the heck do I rename things, just click right there. That lets you rename the projects. It also lets you decide if you want to delete these things. Um, or if you're in the Pro Tools first, it lets you decide if you want to remove one of the three cloud sessions you have and change it to another one. That's about it.